God is good. All the time. And all the time he, he is, is good. good. Yes. Amen? Yes. In your Bibles, the book of Esther, chapter 9, verses 20 to 23. Esther, chapter 9, verses 20 to 23. Reading. And Mordecai wrote these things and sent letters unto all the Jews that were in all the provinces of the king Asuras, both nigh and far, to establish this among them, that they should keep the 14th day of the month Adar and the 15th day of the same yearly, as the days wherein the Jews rested from their enemies and the month which was turned unto them from sorrow to joy and from the morning into a good day, that they should make them days of feasting and joy and of sending portions one to another and gifts to the poor. And the Jews undertook to do as they had begun and as Mordecai had written unto them. This past Wednesday, March 4th, according to the Hebrew calendar, was the 14th day of the Hebrew month of Adar. In Israel and all around the world, this admonishment by Mordecai was one that continued to be joyously observed and celebrated with all the fun and all the enthusiasm of the Gentile church as they celebrate <laughs> like Christmas. Th th this Jewish custom that has lasted throughout all these centuries is called Purim, P-U-R-I-M. In a nutshell, Purim commemorates the deliverance of the Jewish people in the ancient Persian Empire that is today's Iran. Purim commemorates the deliverance of the Jewish people in Iran where a plot had been formed by Haman who was a high-ranking political advisor to the Persian king Asuras. <laughs> the devious and cunning Haman had planned to kill all the Jews in the empire. But his plans were foiled by Mordecai and his cousin and adopted daughter, Esther. Right. Esther had risen to become queen of Persia. <laughs> and that day of deliverance became a day of feasting and of rejoicing. Today, the same evil that once threatened the very existence of the Hebrew people in Iran is once again a reality. And like the racist venom of Haman, the age-old spirit of anti-Semitism and racism has intensified its strategic plans. There is no coincidence that as we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights March on Selma, Alabama, that we appear to be right back to a point where racism and anti-Semitism mm -hmm. have once again become a heightened area of concern because, you see, it is the same evil spirit yes. that is behind both of them. Now, uh, this morning... I just stopped by here at GEC in Kissimmee, Florida to tell you that regardless of how dark it may seem to be, whether it is the gloomy complexity of the potential nuclear armament of Iran or the injustice of the institutionalized racism or any other form of unjust discrimination, or, or, or the bondage of our unsaved loved ones that have been blinded by the devious plot of the enemy that once possessed Haman, I just stopped by here to tell you that there is a deliverer. Yes, yes, yes. 
that this deliverer is even mightier than Mordecai. He's mightier than Mordecai and Queen Esther combined. That deliverer had the spirit of the Lord God Almighty upon him <laughs> that anointed him to preach the gospel to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, and to preach deliverance to the captives and the recovery of sight to the blind. That deliverer belongs to no political party and his awesome power has no restriction of time because he is the eternal son of the living God, Yeshua Hamasiah. The Gentiles call him Jesus Christ. This morning, we will call on that name that is above every other name as we continue praying against the enemy that has our loved ones held captive to the bondage of sin or the ignorance of confusion and error that may be binding them from seeing exactly who Yeshua HaMessiah is. Here at Global Evangelistic Center, we have made a commitment to pray not just for the peace of Jerusalem, but to pray against the strongholds of the enemy and to say in the mighty name of Yeshua Hamasiah to let our people go. We have made a commitment to pray and to spiritually do warfare to snatch our loved ones out of the jaws of the devil. So this morning I invite you to stand with me as we pray for our loved ones, as we come up against the strongholds of the enemy, in the mighty name of Jesus, we command the adversary to let our people go. We come up against the stronghold of addiction. We say that addiction loses its power. Adonai, you are the mighty one. You are the Lord of lords. You are the king of kings. We come up against the stronghold of error and confusion and theological disagreement. Hey, Kandarabaha, there is a name that is above every other name. We claim our loved ones for the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.